Hi, we're going to be doing some binary math right now. So this 1011 plus 0100, you just add them like regular numbers and we'll get 1111. Keeping in mind that if we have uh, sort of two ones added together, there's no such thing as two and we'd have to carry the one go over to the next place. That's not so bad. What might be new for you though is interpreting these as what they represent. So if these are unsigned numbers, then this would be uh, 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 8. So that's 8 plus 3, which would say 11 plus, and this one is a, is a 4. So that would be over here, 1, 1, 1, 1, that corresponds to 1 less than the next place, which would be 16. So that's, that's 15. Or you could just add them all up, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8, 15. Okay. What is probably the new stuff for you is the signed representation for this. So this is the signed representation for negative 5 and then plus 4 equals negative 1. How does that work? Okay, so to find out the 2's complement of something, 2's complement of 5, what you do is you take the, the representation of 5, which would be 1, 0, 1, and then you complement it, 0, 1, 0, and then you add 1. So we're going to get 0, 1, 1. Okay, so that's the 2's complement of the number 5. Now in signed 2's complement represents negative numbers by using the most significant bit to indicate the sign and the other bits are the two's complement of the number you're representing. E.g. 1, 0, 1, 1 means negative 5 since 0, 1, 1 is two's complement of 5. Okay, so this is the sign, and this is the two's complement of the number that you're representing. Now that's that's great for understanding how to go from negative five to the representation of one zero one one. But how do we go in the other direction? How could we figure out that this represents negative five if we're starting with this? Well, you could kind of reverse this formula. So if you start with 1, 0, 1, 1, then you know that that's a negative number. So it's negative because of the leading 1. And, and the negative number it represents is sort of the inverse 2's complement of 0, 1, 1, which would be 0, 1, 1, sort of doing the same formula backwards, what we're going to do is subtract 1, 0, 1, 0, and then we'll take the complement of that, which would be 1, 0, 1. That's 5. Okay, so let's try this again for the, for the last number here. Negative 1 will represent 1 as 0, 0, 1. Then what we'll do is complement that, and we'll get 1, 1, 0. And we'll add one to get one, one, one. So that's why the the three ones here with the one in front represents negative one. To do this the other way, if we start with one, 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 and we subtract one, then we get one, one, zero. If we complement that, then we get zero, zero, one. Okay. So that represents one. That's sort of doing the doing the check in the other direction for this negative number. Another way to represent the two's complement whose complement of, let's call it the 4-bit, two's complement of, uh, let's say, x is 2 to the, let's see. So 4-bit two's complement of any number would be 2 to the 3 minus x. So let's check if that worked out. So 2's complement of 
5 is basically then 8 minus 5, which should be 3. So we should get 0, 1, 1. Aha, it worked. 2's complement of 1 should be 8 minus 1, which would be 7. 1, 1, 1. Okay, that works too. And this actually shows you why it is that the 2's complement representation is useful for representing negative numbers. Because what we want is for the numbers to cancel out when we add them back. So uh, you can take your negative 5, 1, 0, 1, 1, and add it to the representation for positive 5. And what we need for this to work, the, the binary representation, the circuits that do the math to add these together, shouldn't have to care about whether or not one of the numbers was actually negative, whether this was signed or unsigned. We don't want different circuits for adding things that were negative numbers. So if we just add them the same way and it works out to zero, if one of them, or it works out appropriately if one of them was negative, that's great. So if we add these two together, then we're going to get one zero 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 except in the space that we have of the four bits we just have all zeros carry the one okay so that means if this is a signed representation we've got negative five plus five equals zero and that's exactly what we should get so this is uh what the 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 representation for negative five should be should be whatever we need so that when we add it to positive five we get exactly zero and that happens to be this okay same thing for negative one 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 plus zero 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 one is what we're going to need to get to uh zero 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 carry the one Alrighty. so that's your representation of negative numbers with signed two's complement Another way to think of it is if you start off with 1111 as the negative 1, then you can imagine that we're counting up by adding uh, 0, sort of like moving holes instead of electrons. So then 1110 will be negative 2, 1101 will be negative 3, and so on. You know, you can picture the 0 adding up like that. So then you could start here and think, kind of count with um, all ones would be a negative one. So you add a zero there, and that's gonna be negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get some more practice here. So uh, let's just copy all of these and then we'll put them below here and work on them when we get to them. Okay, so B, this would be, let's see, uh, we're gonna have a zero and then carry the one to the next place and then that that just adds to that that's good then we'll have another another one and we've got yet another one from this most significant bit here okay now if unsigned then this says five plus that'd be eight plus one is nine and that equals over here um keeping in mind that one 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 is 15 you can get that that's 14 pretty quick okay now as signed numbers um, oh, by the way, I'm turning this to, uh, I'm switching between this teletype font and, um, and Times New Roman, not with a built-in hotkey, but with a, with a macro that I made. So if you get into macro programming, then you can make hotkeys for that. Personally, I like control shift three to switch it to times and control shift four to switch it to this, uh, courier font, which was something that I made back in, um, programming first year, uh, Quite a long time ago <laughs> anyway so this is uh th that that there's no special hotkey that you're missing for that that's something that you'd have to add in as a as a macro but if you're interested in doing that i'd be happy to show you how that works anyway so signed numbers here this would say again five because the the leading zero means that it's still a positive number so you treat it the same now this one is a negative number now let's think about what that would be you can count up the zeros and we'd have zero uh, sorry negative one then negative two negative three negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven. That should be negative seven. Okay, so that should be five minus seven. Let's double check that. If we take the comp, if we, um, let's see, subtract one from zero, zero, one, then we'll get zero, 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 and then we take the complement of that and we get one, one, one. Yeah, that's seven. So this is five minus seven. And, uh, and then over here, we've got negative two. Okay, and that, that actually works out as well. So five minus seven is negative two. All right, this one. So 
1111 plus 1101. This is going to be equal to a zero, then we'll carry the one, and that gives us another zero. Then we carry the one, and then in this category, we've got um, we've got three ones. So the two that we were adding from that bit originally, and then the carried in one. So that's going to give us another one with another carry, and we're going to get a one with another carry bit. Carry the one. Okay, so if these were unsigned numbers, then this says 15 plus 13. And uh, now, now you know that that should be equal to 28. But what does the answer actually say? So this answer says 8 plus 4, 12. All right. So that's, it's 12 because we can't actually represent 28 with just four bits. So that carried one, if we had another bit there, would be in the 16's place. And then 16 plus 12 would work out to 28. But as is, we've got uh, we've got an, an overflow. An overflow, or maybe just a carry bit. Uh, then the next thing is, what, what would this look like as sign numbers? So as sign numbers, this is negative one plus, uh, let's see, negative two would be that zero. This is negative three. And that would equal the two zeros there is negative four. So that's that's fine. Whoops. Totally fine. No problems with that uh, with that negative representation. Okay, final one. We've got zero one zero one and adding this to zero one zero zero, that would be one zero zero one. Uh, whoops, we'll get to that later. So uh, what this means, unsigned this says let's see that'd be four plus one five plus four equals nine as sign numbers it says five plus four equals now because of this leading one that's not nine this means negative that and uh and let's check that's one below the maximum negative number that you could represent which should be negative eight in four bit on four bit sign so this should be negative seven and i think we already dealt with that number before but let's just check it again so zero zero one minus one would be zero 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 and then invert that and we get one 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 yeah seven so this is negative seven so this one um <laughs> this one has overflowed as well so that's that's not good um we've wrapped around from the positive numbers to the negative numbers and uh and the the representation hasn't worked out for us Okay, so that's how adding in two's complement works. Now, four bit two's complement is not really a, a very used uh, format. Most of the time, you'd have a lot more bits than that to represent your negative numbers. So you might have eight bit or 16 bit or, you know, even 32, 64, or 64 bit numbers. Um, and if, if those are floating points, then some fractions of those numbers will be used for the, um, for the, the actual part of the number, which is telling you whether it's positive or negative and what it is, but it's still, if you can understand the four bit signed twos complement work, then you can understand any amount of bits. So we're mostly gonna be dealing with four just so that you don't have to spend so much time doing the algebra. Great. So today we did some binary additions and learned how to interpret the results as both unsigned and signed numbers using the twos complement system. Thanks for watching, see you next time.